cancers need to grow, and in order for them to grow, they need actually food. They need oxygens, nutrients, sugars, etc. And so that is what, what blood vessels supply to a, a tissue like a cancer. And so what cancer cells will do is that they will produce signals to make sure that there are new blood vessels growing and being attracted to the tumor. And so in the therapy, the principle of the therapy is actually to block the growth of the new vessels, a process that we call angiogenesis, so that we starve the tumors from the food and so that actually the cancers will stop growing and regress. Now we have some, some very good molecules that target certain proteins that stimulate this process of angiogenesis of new blood vessels growth. But the problem is that the patient, the cancer patients, become resistant against it. So we need to find new ways to actually block the growth of these new blood vessels. And we've taken a completely new, novel and original approach, and that is by uh, hitting, by targeting the metabolism. And what is metabolism? That is the process that converts actually, that generates energy and biomass. And so cells need to need energy to grow and to form new blood vessels. So if we block that process, then actually we can also block the process of angiogenesis, of the growth of new blood vessels. And that has a large impact on most cancer types because every cancer needs angiogenesis, needs new blood vessels to grow. Most cancers have a need new blood vessels. And so if you block these new blood vessel growth, you can actually have a large impact on most cancer types.